It's who and who? Falcons and the Patriots. The Falcons and the Patriots. Okay. Yes. And which one Atlanta is... Atlanta and New England. Did I nail that one down, yep, too? That's right. That's right. Which one is Deion Sanders on? <laughs> the one that does the Super Bowl shuffle. Well, okay. No, wait. What's Deion, Deion Sanders is retired. I'm sorry? <laughs> he's retired. From baseball, I know. But yeah. <laughs> so football. Yeah, he stopped that, too. He's... I, I don't understand. He's moved into competitive dancing. Oh, that's right. He was on dancing. Wait, wasn't he Stars. rapping? I thought he was rapping. What happened to his rap career? I remember my brother has his uh, his cassette. His cassette? Can you just take a minute <laughs> to accept the date yourself there for a second? No, I'm I'm just explaining. So I'm curious they're bringing, about they're bringing back vinyl. Why can't they bring back cassettes? I'm bringing. I'm, I'm curious about that. How that nice young, like CDs, but that young athletic Deion Sanders is doing with his secondary rap career. And you guys ballroom are just dancing, to working it. around it. That ballroom dance. That's not. That was never cool. Well, Nobody would watch that. Say hi. Hi. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> this is my wife. <laughs> so you guys know that I worked at a radio station, right? And, and yeah, we were talking about yeah, that actually. Yeah, and uh, one of the things I had to do where they're like, "Can you do a can you do a commercial for uh, a porn store?" And I'm like, "Sure, I Wait. guess." It should go on the podcast. Go. Oh, this story will end up on the podcast. Okay, for sure. go on. Well, there you go, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah get, in, get there. in nice and close. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so they asked me to do a commercial for uh, a porn store, and it was it was pretty awkward. It was called it was a place called the the Pleasure Chest. I don't Same even know again. the Pleasure Chest. Yeah. I don't even know if it's still there, but it was somewhere like in McHenry Where? County or something like that. Where? I don't know. Where was it? I think it was somewhere in McHenry County. Oh, I don't you know. Got it. It's in McHenry County. Yes. <laughs> that was pretty good. And that's how we get people to listen. <laughs> Even, oh. We're recording, but we're not. This oh, isn't okay. meant for anything. There's no for. We're just talking to talk oh, to But us. you're totally going to pull sound clips out of this. Oh, yeah. No, I think so. Probably. So um, are we going to eat some food? Mainly of Elaine saying pleasure, pleasure chest. Oh my God! Yes. Over and over and over again. Yes. That's might how I'm ending. The show's gonna the start. Intro. We're gonna rename the show. We're gonna get chest. sued by some porn store in like McHenry <laughs> County, and we won't know why. In like McHenry County, I'm pretty <laughs> sure like that, you know where it I is. I don't remember. This was literally like 15, 16 years ago. Now. Wait, so you actually did do the commercial? I did do the. Do commercial. You don't have that somewhere. I find don't. That. I don't Can own you it. Find so, that. Right. Find that. Everything's <laughs> online. I told her, I was like, I need to hear this. Uh, Gap. My husband. (laughs) I do feel, though, I have to clear my name on this podcast because I was uh, accused. I was accused in a previous episode um, that I was called out for seeing the Fifty Shades of Grey movie. You, however, Mm -hmm. have seen the original. Twice. Twice. Mm Mm-hmm. Because you have a wife. <laughs> my wife. I'm assuming. Yes. My wife. My wife. <laughs> uh, so your your quick thought on that? Uh, my quick thought is that I'll probably end up seeing this one too. <laughs> not in the theater. Because I told her I'm not going to go see it in the theater. Right. Well, my girlfriend will probably um, go with her. Yeah. They, they went together, I think, to see the original maybe. I'm pretty sure you're right. And I just have to clear my name because, yes, I, I have read the books. I have seen the first movie. I will probably see the remainder of the movies, but in a purely ironic way to make fun of it. I, I don't actually think that it's good literature and, and good writing. It was purely hilarious to, to read it, especially if you read it with um, George Takei's voice in your head. Hilarious. <laughs> um, I'm glad you brought that point up. We were just discussing said movie earlier today and Jordan was wondering in the first movie 
Is there an actual antagonist? Like, what is the problem that goes on? The characters are their own antagonists. That's what makes it artistic. And correct me if I'm wrong, because I have also read the novels, and they are probably the worst writing that I've ever read. And I'm a teacher, so if that tells you anything... And now it's time for re 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 recast or remake remake. Beep, 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 beep. Cutting edge sound audio there. Elaine, audio. would you like to explain what this is? Sure. So this is a little game my husband Kaz and I like to play called Recast the Remake, where we uh, take one of our beloved movies um, and we like to think about uh, who we we would recast. Uh, if we were remaking that movie today, um, we usually look at movies that are maybe coming up on an anniversary um, or we've just seen a million times um, that's older. And so we think about, OK, given given who the hot actor actresses are today, who would we recast these movies with? And um, it works and it works really well with ensemble type movies. Okay. That's those are the best because right. then you have the most. You know, instead of just who's the male, who's the female, and then you're, you know, who's the villain, and then they're kind of done. Um, it, it works, you know, it works best in ensemble because then you can play the game a little bit longer because then you're, who's this? Now who's that? And who's that? Who's that? And you have a whole list of top notch characters for top notch actors as opposed to random people. <laughs> Right, you're filling in. Right. Typically, yeah, we try, we try to think of like, okay, we're remaking it. It's going to be a blockbuster. We want big names, you know, that kind we're of thing. We're thinking money is no option. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to be a little slower on this one than you guys. You guys are pros, apparently. But, We've been literally right. doing this for at least less than a year. So you're way out of your element. I'm out of my element, eh? <laughs> and Donnie. what movie are we going to be doing so today in honor of its 20th anniversary coming up this year we will be recasting the remake of the fifth element Ooh, all right okay do who, am i starting yeah so starting? so we've done this so we have I our thought, list oh you're pro, you have a pro list we I have a pro list okay so in, in fairness we did this a while ago uh, so this is something that we kind of have. It's up for debate. And I've, I've asked a few friends about what their opinions are. It seemed, you never asked it seemed my pretty opinion. good. Oh, I maybe you did. did. You might actually have. So this but, has been a while ago. But regardless, um, it's a good movie Sorry. because there's a lot of a lot of people in it. A lot of good choices for it. And we absolutely love the movie. So Elaine's having trouble with her pop screen. There we go. There you started go. slipping. It, my pop screen went limp. Oh, oh. Don't you hate when that happens? <laughs> it's okay. It happens to a lot of guys. Okay. So, so where do we start? Where do I start at the top? Should I start at the bottom? Sure. Where, yeah. Where, where, where do I? That's... Do you prefer the top or the bottom? <laughs> well, that's a completely different question. Uh, I, I, of the give list, me, you give me a character of the list, okay. and well, I'll give you where my. We will went. start then with the. One of the main characters. We'll start with uh, Corbin Dallas. Corbin Dallas, originally uh, played by Bruce, Bruce Willis. Willie. Okay, so that helps. Too, Bruce Willis. I'm sure we won't have the names of all the actors on this from the original. I mean, you guys might. The internet does. Oh, okay. So uh, Corbin Dallas. I I struggled back and forth with this because originally I'd picked The Rock as Corbin Dallas, but I, I maybe he's not as. Uh, f- uh, Corbin Dallas kind of feels almost like he could be frail, but he's not because he's older, right? That's how it's portrayed. He's, I mean, he's not like well in fragile, the movie. Like, he's like a he's yeah, but he's seasoned, seasoned veteran. He's seasoned, but he's also it feels almost like he could break at any moment, but he doesn't because he's so hardened, right? And I'll and I'll fill and you the in, Rock doesn't. Well, feel and I'll fill way. you in on a little tidbit about the Rock. We actually have him cast as a different character okay. well, we'll in get our that recast. Is, uh, so we'll we'll get to that but well i picked tom hardy that's okay okay, okay. That's interesting <laughs> yeah. no i get that okay i think i think he lands there and uh, you know mad max oh, oh, uh, feels in that direction a lot of what he does feels in that direction he might be the new 
Bruce Willis, yeah. Mm. Mm. Give him give him ten years and he mm. might be there. No? Okay. No. Maybe. So do you want to know who we had picked? Absolutely. So we actually we Oh, had, is this a team pick? You like yeah, you both yeah, agreed we, on We one. agreed on them. Yeah. Okay. We had lengthy discussions. I mean, and this what, okay, is, like so I said, tell me what the discussion is. That's what I want to hear. You're, you're Where really? did we start? No, I don't want to like start six a months ago or something. Like <laughs> I don't want to okay. start a fight. I no, just no. want to know. So our thought was okay. Who, what did somebody else pick something and then you guys no, were like, I think oh, we, maybe this one? Um, on, on, I think Honestly. on Corbin Dallas we did because we had we have top three for okay. Corbin Dallas that oh. we were, you know, I I like one more than another. Kaz likes one. Um, so you do have three on your list right now. We have three on our list right, right now for work Corbin it up, Dallas. Work it up. Let's, and so our, from your third well, our, our theory behind Corbin Dallas was um, he's he's kind of an accidental action hero. Right. He's just normal, everyday guy, you know, Surprise. has a, a bit of a rough patch. But there's also this this comedic element to it that I don't, while I love Tom Hardy, don't get me wrong, because who doesn't love Tom Hardy, I don't know that he has the comedy chops for Corbin Dallas. I think so. Well, I think his comedy is much, much more dry. Mm-hmm. Cause there's definitely, yes, that's true. As we're, and we're talking about this while we were talking about taboo earlier, but there are definitely moments in taboo where he's, and his, he's very straight faced when he does stuff. But when he says something, I, I, there's always a moment where I'm like, <laughs> I and agree. that's it. So I, I, I but, agree, but okay. I just think how kind of, and I don't mean this in a negative way, but just kind of how cartoony the feel is of fifth element. Right. I don't know that that he would necessarily like he wouldn't be my top pick. So my top pick you. would Corbin Dallas. No, no, especially three in, number bottom. Oh, the bottom. The bottom. bottom was one of Kaz's pick, actually. Of course, it was. Well, it yeah. was husband. Uh, well, yeah. yeah, it was uh, Guy <laughs> Pierce. Okay, yeah, I can see that. A grizzled, salty veteran. Actually, feel. that didn't even come from me. That came from uh, our friend Ben. Oh yeah, oh, okay. there you go. Uh, that because he, he his Shout his, out to reason, ben. his reasoning, uh, who's dead to us. His <laughs> reasoning was uh, if you've seen the movie Lockout, you've seen, absolutely you've seen Guy Pierce be that role. Okay, and that's even the same. I gotta director. rewatch that's Lockout. Even the same I, re- director, I enjoyed so, it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, that's number three. Number two. Uh, number two was uh, Jason Statham. Yes. Yeah. See, you guys definitely had more time than me. I He's did this even in balding, like so. five minutes, rushed it, and then we hit the record button. So that that was mean. Well, he is. But we'll let it go. Um, my pick, and Still again, just great. just given today's atmosphere and uh, of Hollywood. Where they stand. Now. Where they stand now. I picked Chris Pratt. Just because he's that huge, he was, he's in everything. He has the comedy chops. He has the action chops. To me, he could embody Corbin Dallas I, perfectly. I he was my first thought, but one I didn't. I don't want to shove him into everything, and I know I'm going to use him for a bunch of stuff if we keep doing these. Uh, but, but aside from that, point. I yeah. I don't feel him being that salty veteran. I feel him being like caught off guard, completely different character from what Corbin Dallas was, which is fine if you're still doing a different. Take mm-hmm. on the fifth element. So maybe, maybe but if you're Chris Pratt ten years exactly from it, now, maybe <laughs> give him fifteen, and he'll definitely be. That's uh, fair. If, if he runs into a bunch of bad movies, which and hopefully it, he doesn't. And is it really his fault that he just falls as the best choice for an actor in a certain? No, world, absolutely. I mean, opinion, he's he's you know? he's amazing. He's great. That's why I said I don't want to yeah. use him for everything, and I tried to think away from mm-hmm. from that box. But I didn't feel like he fit that Bruce Willis. That's fair. Uh, so, but and I'm with you. Oh, that's good. So mm-hmm. we got, that's your number one was Chris Pratt? That's my number one pick. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what I got Tom is. Hardy. Well, yours is hers. You share oh, yeah. your first pick. We, Sorry. we came, with, came up with that you together. Yeah. our first pick. Yes. Right. Okay. All right. So who's next? Uh, next would be Lilo. Lilo, which was originally played by? Mila Jovovic. We, oh, she, we just watched Resident Evil and she introduced herself on the screen before the movie. And it's Jovovich. 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 Just uh, that's that information. Uh, I went with Margot Robbie. Hmm. And I think, yeah, when you guys were going over this list, I imagine she wasn't as in the public eye as she is right now because she's she's one of the hottest things going. Right. So she was my immediate pick. I didn't think of anyone else. Mm -hmm. She was first up. So that's mine. Yeah. So we had two picks for Lilu. Okay. Um, so the first thing that, so our thought was, okay, obviously she has to be hot. 
has to have that body. Um, <laughs> okay. That's kind of a given. She's pretty much wearing like electrical tape mm-hmm. across her boobs for the majority of the movie. And then she has to have that element of crazy. Like she has to pull off just bat shit. Okay. Right. Um, and so again, going back to who's, who's hot right now in Hollywood and, the, obviously, we came up with this list, too, before Passengers came out, but Jennifer Garner. or uh, Jennifer Je- Not Jennifer Garner. I hate Jennifer <laughs> Garner. Just putting that out Whoa. there. Sorry. Uh, Jennifer scene. Lawrence. Okay. So Jennifer Lawrence is kind of, I, I think that she could pull off the crazy. She could pull off the hot, the just like gibberish, like all that stuff she could she can definitely do. She could be frantic. Absolutely. Um, our second pick, though, was, was I think is also a pretty good one. Um, Emily Blunt. We, we really think that I'm she could pull think, it off, too. I, I think I've all, I have not seen her yet in any action movies. Well, Live, she was in Live, Die, Live, Die, Die, Die Repeat, Repeat slash that's Edge not, of Tomorrow. I was say, that's not the name of the movie. No. They changed the name of the movie when people didn't realize Speaking of happening. that movie, I mm-hmm. saw... I still haven't seen it. I saw this... It's good. I have not seen it either, but I saw a hilarious trailer remix for it (laughs) where they did it as like a happy-go-lucky like Groundhog Day-esque kind of movie. And it's just (laughs) like Tom Cruise's character is having a bad day. And it's like totally cheesy and it's hilarious. But anyway. Oh, there there was a trailer for a movie that was Groundhog's Day, but it was with like teenage girls and it was a horror movie. Huh. That's coming out. We'll never see that in the theater, but we'll definitely watch it at some point, I think, because... I think that'll be a point at the screen and be laughing because of how bad it is movie. Uh, okay. So next. So uh, next we had Zorg. Originally played by Gary Origi- Oldman. Originally played by Gary Oldman. Um, by the way, his, his character's full name, uh, by the way, his character's full name, it, it, for those of you that don't remember, um, is Jean Baptiste <laughs> Emmanuel Zorg? I'm sure they only say that once in the movie. Probably, no, I don't if think at they all. say it at all. <laughs> if I, at I, all. I, maybe it's on like his name tag or something. I'm, yeah, maybe, maybe or maybe it's, maybe like it's on his table. desk, yeah. his desk plate. That's or what something. I mean, like the name tag. Okay, uh, so I first thought Tom Hiddleston. Hmm. hmm. We didn't even think right. of that one. And yeah. I, I was I was proud of that pick because it that was the first person I thought of yeah. when I thought of that. I think he totally pulled that Cause off. Because he is uh, Gary Oldman very much. Yeah. Uh, I mean, not as seasoned. Uh, we keep going back to that. Right. But yeah. he has that. It's the, the actor himself is he's kind of classy, but he he definitely is going to be able to pull off the, the comedy bit. Yeah. And we know he can pull off villain where he's out of control. Yeah. But can he pull off villain, though? But he's that's very good at is, Loki. Is, 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 that's Loki the other is thing, very good at villain. But see, the thing is, is, is Zorg, even still, Zorg, I mean, he is evil, but... He's the antagonist. He's, he's more but... chaotic okay. than evil, Which is that Loki. makes sense. Which is Loki, yeah. which didn't... But he had a plan. He did have a plan. I don't remember what it was, and I'm sure he didn't. But I crossed off Tom Hiddleston, okay. and I instead went with Nicolas Cage. Oh, oh God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, this movie just went down the toilet. No, absolutely not. I, I don't know where you're saying that. You should say that. You should take that back before he comes and strikes you down. Oh, I, okay. I take that back. This movie went straight up his nose. That's okay. Oh. And that's where we needed to be. But if you just take take Gary Oldman out of the outfit and shove Nicolas Cage into that I'd, and do the I'd exact same that. movie, I'd love to see it that. would be amazing. Something tells me that. that's like, Nicholas Cage's typical Friday night. Well, hold on, hold on. <laughs> like, <laughs> he dresses okay. like that. So, he acts so like that. I think. I think, in lieu of you giving Nicholas Cage as that role, which I'm not saying shouldn't be, I think that's a great. I think that's awesome. Me too. Um, I'm, I'm not going to take any criticism on it anyway. So. No, but I think we should kind of have a standing rule to try and limit how many roles we give Nick Cage. No, 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 no. Because it's just not fair. You give him as it's many. It's just unfair. He's in every movie anyway. I don't know why you would take him out of every movie anyway. But it's anyway. just unfair. It, it's, it's almost like a cop-out answer. You can be like, <laughs> you can sit there like, I don't know. So you, I guess Nick Cage. What you're saying and then is Nicholas Cage say is the greatest be, ca- actor of our generation? Uh, would you Would you? No, I'm just that? asking if that's what you're saying. If I mean, that's what you're saying, I'm good with it. I'm hard pressed to find a better god than that. <laughs> I mean, actor than that. So that's my pick. Uh, 
So our pick for well, 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 Zorg. Before you, before you give yeah. our pick for Zorg, I think I'd just like to point out, thanks for shitting all over our pick uh, with well, Nick Cage. Because now nothing will come up to that. <laughs> you let me go first. Yeah, well. There's I'm nothing just, I can I'm do just, about I'm just that. saying. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Continue. No, please. no. That's fine. So, yeah. Our pick for Zorg is someone that we actually pick quite often. Uh, it's Nicholas Cage. It's not <laughs> Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Um, say Nicolas Cage one more time. <laughs> and he's um. going to show up in the mirror. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> like bloody Keep Mary. the lights on. Keep the lights on for the love of God. Candyman. Oh my God. Can we recast Candyman? Because okay. I've don't, got an idea. Don't bring up Candyman. <laughs> well, we're not. out of Chicago now, so we're safe. <laughs> Yeah, but the bees, man. I cannot unsee bees. that. I, I have to Nick Cage. Oh, no. We're You're back to Nick Cage. Why do you keep bringing up Nick Cage? I thought you didn't want to okay. talk about Nick Cage. Zorg. So Zorg. Zorg. So we have our pretty much a go-to actor who we love. Uh, we feel he's a very underrated actor, and he's just brilliant, absolutely fantastic. And he's kind of our go-to actor for whenever we are casting, recasting um, roles that were done by Gary Oldman, and that's Sam Rockwell. We love Sam Rockwell, underrated, and we feel like he, if if anyone can fill Gary Oldman's shoes, it's Sam Rockwell. Plus, I, he might very, yeah, he might he just be dance. the same person. Well, yeah, they might actually be the exact same person. <laughs> I think, have you, have you I ever do seen think, him in the same room at the same time? I don't know. Have <laughs> they ever done a movie together? Well, I don't know how many years they are apart, but I feel like if Gary Oldman had an illegitimate son out there, if it would be Sam out, Rockwell. If one day he came out, he was like, so Sam Rockwell is actually my 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 oldest son. And we'd, you, we'd all be, be like, oh, like, well, yeah, obviously. Exactly. Would so you let's be see. Like, Gary Oldman is what? 58. Uh, I'm looking up right now to <laughs> see how old Sam Rockwell is. Mm-hmm. This is <laughs> fascinating radio. <laughs> If you listen closely, oh, they're only ten like, years apart. Wow, Sam Rockwell old. is forty-eight. I mean, Gary Oldman. He's a lot older he, than I thought. he was just very active, very early as all. So, he's a beast. but uh, no, I yeah, I'm with you. I, I I can definitely see that. I can see him. I can see him being Commissioner Gordon. I can see him being like we said. Anything. I don't that's know if I can Gary see him Oldman, being Dracula. We could totally see him being exact. Oh yeah, that's that's probably not. I can see him being Drexel from True Romance. Absolutely. Ooh. Oh, True Romance. Ooh, we should do that one. Too. That's oh, another that's good an, one. It's, yeah. an, it's one of my favorites. Uh, okay, so next up. Next is... We've, uh, I think we've knocked out a really big one. We did. We did. Yeah, we're going. Going. No, 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 almost. We almost. have at least There's one, at least one, one yeah, more yeah, big you're right, one. You're right. Yes, for sure. Um, but the next Let's one save we him have... for last. We'll save him for last. Okay. Uh, the next one we have on our list is Father Vito Cornelius. Uh, originally played by Ian, Ian Holm. Ian Holm. Okay. Um, I, I, I knew who I wanted to pick, and I couldn't think of his name, so I had to look it up. But it's Toby Jones. Toby Jones was Arnim yeah. Zola from the Captain America movies. He became the, the computer. Toby Jones reminds me of the quiz show kid from the Venture Brothers. I'm just putting that out there into the universe. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He is the quiz show kid. So, but that I don't know why he he popped right in my head, and I was just like, okay, he can kind of be a befuddled priest, and he, uh, that's kind of he's a character actor that that's what he does, and he's All good right. at it. Though he did show up in Sherlock recently, and he was quite good doing mm. other things. Just mm. as a note, I know you guys haven't watched it yet. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you so guys, we thought it was quite fitting. With the release of the Hobbit movies, um, we kind of gave a nod to that and thought of Martin Freeman as playing Father Cornelius. Yeah. Hey, we just talked about Sherlock, guys. Exactly. Really Full circle. Full circle. Martin Freeman. Wait, who did you guys say for? Oh, right. Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell. Sorry, I'm, I'm taking notes and talking out loud my notes trying to be professional <laughs> no i just it's interesting to me so i'll save it and i'll yeah. hang it up on my wall and look at it and later i'll be like no that's stupid you that were wrong i was right wall? you don't you don't need to know uh okay who's next uh next we can go to the president uh um, president pres- Lindbergh. Pres- president Lindbergh, who uh in the original fifth element was played by zeus, zeus. that's right tommy tiny lister no he's debo yeah, Debo, he is Zeus. He'll forever be Zeus. Uh, and I imagine that you guys and I came up with the same pick for this because it wound up being The Rock. Yep. 
Okay. That's right. <laughs> that we, when you said <laughs> that earlier, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. When, yep. when you said that Our earlier, and then you said when oh I said God. it earlier, and then you said that you picked him for something else. I immediately knew, and that's who I picked. So that's it. We don't. I don't think we really need to explain it. He'd be an amazing cameo for that, and the few scenes that he's going to have would be fantastic. And I imagine he'd be wearing something. I, I though Zeus did play him, and he was a big, powerful dude. I imagine him playing it like Tom Cruise played in Tropic Thunder. Oh, my God. Where he'd show up and you wouldn't know that it's him at first. But once it starts laying in, you're like, this is happening. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, the next one. So the next one is kind of a a smaller character, but we, we got to talking about who we thought could play this character. And we're like, yeah, all right, let's just throw him on the list. And that's the character of David. Um, played Who's by, the priest. Uh, yeah, the yeah so he assistant. was kind of like, yeah, the, the priest's right hand man, um, played by, uh, Charlie Creed Miles in the original. Um, and so we, we were just thinking, um, of two people actually that, that kind of, I think get mixed up for each other quite often. Um, but we were thinking David Crummeltz or Jason Schwartzman. Crummeltz, you'd have to remind me who. So uh, David Crummeltz is one of those people that you know, you just maybe uh, don't know I'm his sure. name. I know the name, um, but I can't put a so face So he's uh, the guy from Numbers. Um, he's also, okay. I fondly remember him from Adam's Family Values and from <laughs> The Santa Claus. Okay. Uh, isn't he Mr. Universe? Yes. Yes. From, okay. You can't stop. He's Mr. Thing. Universe from Serenity. Correct. That's all you needed to say, guys. Come on. I That's chose Charlie Day. Okay. Okay, I could see that. I don't know. I, I think I. I don't want to say no. I think it's it's a. I, I, I I'd go with a different. I would have liked to have been version of it. He, he'd have a little bit more. I was going to say Day. he'd get a little more time in there, and he's still. I mean, I actually remember the. I don't remember the the person who played him, but I remember the assistant priest dude more so than I remember a handful of these characters. So he stands out a little bit more. But yes, I would give Charlie Day more more screen time and definitely more interaction with everybody, especially Corbin Dallas, because he's Charlie Day and that would be fantastic. Oh my God, that's who I went great. with. Yeah. Who else do we have? Uh, next up, we have General Monroe, who in the original was played by Brian James. And when we were talking about General Monroe, uh, Kaz, you had like one specific person that came to your mind right away. Do you remember who it was? I, I have I the list in remember. front of me. <laughs> yeah. How about, we'll, we'll, but before we get to that, we'll have you, oh, Jordan, give who uh, your pick would be. So I went with Walton Goggins. Ooh. I, I just, I love Walton Goggins. Um, and when I saw him and I kind of remembered the character, uh, it, he was one of the first ones that popped in my head. I did look at a list of a bunch of people that I, I felt would do that, uh, but Walton Goggins I think was my was my I like top. That. Yeah. I'm, I love Walton Goggins too. Yeah. I think he's every great. time he pops up in something, he's amazing. Yep. He's one of those guys. I think he's he's super method. Um, so everything that he does, he does, and he does well. Yeah, he's great. So he should definitely get much more. Who did we have? So we actually, I think, went a little bit more with the physical persona of general monroe we actually uh thought of ron perlman oh (laughs) jake Busey. for some reason when i when i saw the picture of of uh of general monroe i immediately thought of jake Busey. so i thought that was coming out but okay sorry go ahead just an older jake Busey. is jake Busey still working you know true story we were cut off on the road the other day (laughs) going home it was jake Busey. no hold on we couldn't tell the car was moving very quickly the license plate literally was J. Busey. Ooh, you should have called So it was totally J. Busey. And Busey. asked, him, asked him what he was doing. <laughs> Would you like to be recasted <laughs> in The Fifth Element? <laughs> Remake that we totally aren't making, but... Okay, so that was number what? Uh, I lost track. But there's only one more character okay. left. No, no, I mean, you're. I thought you said you had a couple. Oh, no, that was the no, no. first oh, that one your, that came okay. to mind. Yeah, All for right. sure. Who was it? Sorry. Ron, Ron Perlman. Perlman. Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman. Absolutely. So there's one character left. 
arguably uh, the most important character. Arguably the, movie, the most right? important character. Yes, okay. most iconic well, at least I would say. I would say the driving force of the movie that <laughs> yeah, keeps absolutely. you locked in. The, like yeah. cuz everybody else it is slopes, great. It's a good movie uh, becomes uh, yeah. a great movie because of one okay. character. And that is And that is Ruby Rod. Who was mm-hmm. iconically played by Chris Tucker in Which the 1997 amazing. original at the so height amazing. of his career of being his tuckerness. of his tuckerness. <laughs> Um, and so we thought, we'll get your, your thoughts, but we mm-hmm. thought of only one actor in today's Hollywood I imagine we atmosphere. thought of the same thing, but I, I, I went in a different direction. But go ahead. Did you? Okay, go ahead. No, no, you, 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 you're up. Okay. So we thought the only person today that could play Ruby Rod and do it justice as Chris Tucker had is Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart. Right. Okay. Yeah, that and was uh, seemingly everybody we asked this question to. And it's to, the easiest they almost answer. They all say Kevin Hart. Uh, Kevin Hart is the new Chris Tucker. I mean, I mean, he's he the kind, new Chris Tucker, the new But I mean, he he it, it just it just seems to fit him well. Right. He he's sense. he's over the top. He's yeah. he's loud. He's yeah. And yeah. he's funny. He's hilarious. Right. He's got that timing. Yeah. I I'm, I'm with I I can I can dig that. But you said you had a an I d- I chose Kevin Hart and I'm sure that if they ever do it it will be Kevin Hart if they do in the next five years or so. But I wanted to go away from that. So I went with Michael Pena. Ooh. Ooh, switching up the races a little bit hey, here. Now who's seeing the race? become a race thing. Yeah. Ruby Rod's just Ruby Rod, baby. You don't you don't tie Ruby Rod anybody. down. And I think Michael Pena every time he's another one that every time he shows up, he nails it down. I I, I wanna say he's maybe one of the best character actors in Hollywood, but I don't, I don't even want to nail him down as a character actor because he's, he's super good. I think everything I've seen him in, he's been very, whether it's drama or whatever, he's very good at everything. I, I loved him in Ant-Man. Oh yeah. He's amazing. Have in we ever, has he ever been in a role where he was just like really flamboyant and loud and everything? Uh, yeah. Uh, have you seen, what's the, uh, it was like, okay, so Paul Blart Mall Cop came out, and at the same time, there was a Seth Rogen movie, um, Observe and Report. Okay, I did not see No, that. do. He is quite fantastic in that. Okay. Um, but I'm sure if you go through his catalog of, of characters. Yeah, because I'm trying to done, remember, I don't remember him playing a role where he was like, you know, even something similar to what Ruby, Ruby did, or well, Chris Tucker did. He's, uh, but he's over the top. Yeah, he, he's definitely... Okay. Observant Report is worth the watch simply for that character that he plays. If nothing else, and it, it's it has its moments. It's an entertaining movie, um, but if for nothing else, it's it's Michael Pena for sure. So yeah, and that was. And if anybody would like to, they can feel free to comment, to email, to suggest in any way, shape, or form any other movies they think that would make a great opportunity to recast because of whatever reason there's an anniversary it's just a great movie um maybe the movie was terrible the first time it came out and you thought it could have been so much better if maybe it had some different people in it um, or if you have different picks for the fifth element please yeah, share those with us and even if you have different picks you know or you think we're all a bunch of idiots and you think <laughs> and you just want to yell at us for picking exactly. the opposite person that you would pick but you're not going to tell us who you pick because you're smarter than us and don't want to give it away when you sell it to Hollywood. Either way, uh, you can find us on... Oh, that got really specific. <laughs> you can find us on Facebook, Nerds and Marks, uh, Twitter, at Nerds and Marks, Tumblr, Nerds and Marks. Uh, you can email us directly, nerdsandmarks at gmail.com. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you'd like to submit your suggestions or hate mail, again, that's... Don't send hate mail. There's enough hate in the world send, already, send people. Send us your hate. <laughs> send nerd mail, mark mail, love no, mail. But think of it this way: if if you really need to, feel free. It'll help you. Be, it'll help you feel better if you vent to somebody. So better than yelling at your your neighbor or something like so that. So we have to be the scapegoats. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I mean, I, how about just don't be an asshole, people? Well, I guess there's that too. But you're really, I mean, if anybody's listening to it, it's somebody who's on the internet. And that place is just full of people. Have you been to the internet? I mean, we have, and the reason that we can say this is because we're those people. So I'm not. I don't comment on anything. <laughs> I just internalize it, 
bury it way deep Bottle down it all up and just let it eat you up on just the let it eat me up alive <laughs> i have a terrible stomach as a result but you know what people think i'm a pretty nice guy <laughs> So if you'd like to call off Kaz destroying everything in his path the one day that he finally breaks, send us some love mail. Uh, So, yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.